everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top five best luxury purchases for 2022. So throughout the year, I actually did a few videos where I talked about which of my recent purchases were hits and which were misses. So I didn't want to kind of like recap all of my purchases for this video since it would be a little bit redundant. Um, instead, if you want to watch those videos, I'll have them linked up here for you guys. So for this video, I wanted to kind of like pick the best of the best from those videos and kind of round them up into my top five favorite purchases, best purchases for the year. And yeah, I really love these items. Um, I think most of my purchases this year were hits instead of misses, but these are, they're really great, I gotta say. And some of them were a little bit of a surprise to me as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. So let's start with some jewelry and of course my Bulgari Serpenti Viper bracelet which I have on right here is on this list. It's probably actually my like number one best purchase of this year honestly and I've really been buying a lot more luxury fine jewelry recently and yes the value is not great but honestly for this Bulgari bracelet the value is actually pretty good compared to a lot of other like branded um, fine jewelry because this is the semi pave one and you do get some like decently sized diamonds with this bracelet and honestly I've been telling like anyone who will listen um, just how amazing this bracelet is. It's just the right amount of like edginess while still being classic. It's intricate and it makes a statement on its own. And really those diamonds just sparkle so much. I really, really love this bracelet. I did do an entire video where I compared this bracelet to the Cartier Juiced and Clue bracelet, which I have in the small version. And hands down, I would pick this bracelet over the Cartier one any day. Um, I did get like a few comments on that video um, where people asked me if it was normal that my bracelet had this um, gap between the two ends. So if you can see right here, um, the two ends don't really um, come together. There's like a little bit of a gap. And it's strange because I was looking on the website um, and also just like Google images in general to see if this was normal. And for the most part, I would say like 95% of the time, it seems like there's not supposed to be a gap, but mine has a gap and I actually prefer it more. Um, if I were to like flip it to the other side, then the gap goes away. But based on the images that show up online it's actually not supposed to be oriented like this it's supposed to be the other way around so i don't know what it is i do know that um these bracelets since it is kind of like a wire mechanism not every single piece will be exactly the same so i guess this is part of the variation with the bracelet and i wouldn't have looked into this this deeply if i didn't get questions about it but just in case you guys were wondering like hey why is your bracelet different than mine um, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that, but this is just so gorgeous. Even when I'm at home, usually when I'm at home, I don't really have jewelry on, but I find myself putting this on even when I'm at home because yeah, I just love seeing this on my wrist and Bulgari is actually raising their prices by quite a lot. Like I feel like every half a year they have a price increase. I bought this one right before they had their price increase in April. Um, so if you are considering this bracelet, I say like don't wait because you know I feel like every half a year it's gonna go up by like another $500. So yeah, highly, highly recommend this. Definitely my favorite purchase of this year. Okay, so the next item is one of the surprises on this list and it is this flap style card holder from Chanel. So this specific one is in caviar and it's in, I believe it's the 22C pink. So there's many reasons why I didn't expect this to be one of my top purchases of 2022. Well, okay, as I used it more and more throughout the year, it became apparent just how much I love this. But if you had asked me a year ago back in 2021, if this would be on my best purchases list of 2022, I would have never guessed. 
And firstly, I didn't even think I was going to be able to get my hands on this card holder to begin with because basically what happened was I had reserved this with one of my essays all the way on the West Coast in Cali um, back when Chanel was still doing reserves for their items and she ended up leaving the company. So I had no idea how I was going to even like contact someone from the boutique to like asked if there's any updates and this was like a highly sought after color from that collection so I thought okay even if I was high enough on the list that there's enough stock that it would make it down to my name on the list I'm sure that they would just skip past me because this is so highly sought after my sales associates no longer there and it was already January which is around the time frame when they would release the following collection and I hadn't heard back yet so I was like, okay, whatever, it's fine. Um, but I was very surprised when someone else at that boutique reached out to me and said that this had come in for me. So yes, of course I did buy it. And I was a little bit skeptical about this card holder. Well, I love the flat card holders from Chanel, um, but I wanted like a slightly bigger one. So the first slightly bigger card holder that I bought was actually like the zipped version. Um, like the zip coin purse so that one didn't work out for me whatsoever and i was like okay i'll try this one but i was kind of like okay maybe the flat style card holder is the only one for me and also this is in caviar which as you guys may know i like lambskin way more than caviar so i was a little skeptical if i would like this but i was like okay i need a bigger card holder and i don't want to use like a giant wallet so i'll give this a try um and yeah i ended up really really loving this i still do like those flat card holders too but when you need a little bit more space like this is amazing because you get all the space on the inside here you even get this additional slot over here in the inside and you get one in the back i don't really use the one in the back all that much um i usually put like my id um, in its own little slot here and then all my cards or reward cards or whatever just goes in here and this has really been like such a handy item to have it's also worn so well like I can't even count the amount of times that I've opened and closed this um, and like there's no rubbing of the leather around this um, snap button closure I've opened it so much and you would think that there'll be like a permanent crease back here uh, that isn't the case either so I am so so happy with this I might actually try to pick up a second one um, next year we'll see what happens because this style of card holder is actually like a very popular style so it's so hard to get your hands on one so we'll see if i'm able to find one in a color i like next year but whatever the case is this is just such a great purchase for this year and as a side note i did do a video comparing this card holder to the flat one to the zipped one so if you guys are interested in that video i have it linked up here for you guys Let's get back to talking about jewelry now and items three as well as four on this list are these matching earrings as well as pendant from Van Cleef and Arpels. So these are from their Fravo collection. It's the mini size of their Fravos and this is in rose gold with the rubies in the center instead of like their usual diamonds and i absolutely love this um i was looking for mini frivols for the longest time actually but prior to them releasing this set um they also make it in a bracelet too um prior to them releasing this the only version that they have in rose gold is the one that's in full pave and i didn't want the pave one because i like the mirrored finish on these frivol pieces so when this got released i basically bought it right away when the collection first came out i was actually interested in the earrings and not necessarily the pendant in the beginning of 2022 um i had actually said that i wasn't going to buy any more pendants because i have so many pendants i mean i do wear um most of them aside from like the really like special occasion ones most of them i do wear very often because i usually do stack my necklaces so yes i get the wear out of them but at the same time i have a lot of pendants so i didn't expect to get this 
um, but when I tried them on together, it just looked so pretty. And I just love those flower petals on it because they look like hearts, basically. Um, yeah, I absolutely love these. I am most likely going to be getting more from their frivol collection. Um, I do kind of want like another pair of earrings at least. I'm not so sure if I would get like another matching pendant because the earrings I have in mind are in white gold and I just I have a lot of white gold pendants so maybe I wouldn't get another matching set but I am really happy that I have this matching set because I just I'm not a big fan of like matchy matchy jewelry but sometimes it's nice to have like a set that you can wear together and I do wear these together a lot too but yeah they also work separately I, I just love 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 this set love the Frivol collection and yeah if you want to branch out with your Van Cleef & Arpels jewelry or you want to branch out in your jewelry in general definitely do check this collection out as for the fifth and final item on this list, if you're wondering, wait a second, you haven't mentioned a single handbag yet? Well, this is actually a handbag and it is the mini whip handle from Chanel in this gorgeous baby pink color. So this is a little bit of a surprise too because, okay, you know how there are the handbags that you really love, like they're your favorite handbags. Like if you were just talking about pieces that you could display on a shelf and look at with heart eyes every time you see it, um, that's like one type of handbag, right? Um, but then there are also the handbags that you actually use that you would consider to be like your most used handbags. They're versatile, whatever. And sometimes those two categories don't really intersect, but with this bag, I love how it looks. It's my favorite in terms of like the color, the style of bag, and it's also like a favorite in terms of how much I use it. Um, I actually did a video talking about my most used bags for this year. Um, I'll have that video linked up here if you guys are interested. So three of the bags on that list are actually bags that I purchased this year. So I didn't want that video and this one to be too redundant. So I didn't want to mention all of them, but this one out of the three is probably like my best purchase out of those three handbags. Um, the other two are more expensive and I don't think, you know, it's not as pretty as this pink color is. So for that reason, I think this one kind of edges them out for this top five list. And yeah, this is just so, so, so stunning. Um, I absolutely love the style of bag. I love my top handle bags um, and I love this like thin chain that comes with it. It is thinner than the ones on their mini rectangulars. It's just so pretty. I absolutely love the color. I love that this could be dressed up and also dressed down. Like it surprisingly looks really nice with jeans too. Um, there's kind of like this feminine yet kind of like effortless quality to it if you're wearing like um, this bag crossbody. It's just so stunning. I've gotten so many compliments on this and I highly highly recommend this mini whip handle style. I think it's like a great little um, kind of like updated take on the mini rectangular you know chanel adds handles to a lot of their bags like specifically their vanity cases you know they love to add handles to that and just like a lot of their bags in general and it doesn't always work like i feel like the handles just is a way for chanel to make their bags more expensive a lot of the times but i really think that the handle works with this bag and just like makes it so much more versatile because sometimes a bag that simply has a chain isn't the most versatile bag, but I just love this added handle on it. It's so easy to pick up. Yeah, I can't say enough great things about this. And I actually want your opinion on something because I was looking at um, what colors will be coming out like in the future collections from Chanel in the style. And there actually is kind of like a deeper, um, brighter pink that's coming out soon. And I was kind of, I'm thinking if I should get that too, or if it's too similar. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I do really love the style, but like, 
Is there too much of an overlap? Even though they're different shades of pink, they're still both pink. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So those are my top five best luxury purchases of 2022. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and do also let me know which were your favorite purchases of the year. It doesn't have to be luxury related. Um, some of the items that I think were my best purchases of 2022 are like much less expensive than what I talked about in this video. But you know, I do have kind of like a luxury related channel. So I focused on these items specifically, but let me know which were your best purchases of the year, no matter what price point. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week on luxury and fashion. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.